This is question 2 of the AQA Mechanics 1B January 2013 paper. In this question we're looking at forces in two dimensions. Um, the three forces act on a particle, these forces are 9i take away 3j newtons, 5i plus 8j newtons and minus 7i plus 3j newtons. Um, and we want to find the resultant of these forces. So for part A, um, this should be nice and straightforward because we're just trying to find the resultant of the forces, that's just the sum of the forces. So I'm, I'm going to actually write these in column vector form because I've got terrible handwriting, as you probably noticed. So we've got 9, negative 3, and I've got 5 and 8. I've got a negative 7 and 3. Yeah, I find it's a lot clearer um, writing it in column vector form. Um, and we're going to add these together um, to give me the uh, resultant of the forces. So the top component is going to be 7, that's our I component. And our bottom component is going to be 8, and that's our J component. And that's going to be in newtons okay and it's fine to write your answer in that way that's absolutely fine okay part b okay we need to um find the magnitude of the resultant force so we can use pythagoras um to work out what the magnitude of this vector is so i'm going to say that it's going to be the square root of seven squared plus 8 squared um, which gives me um, uh, and that's going to be root 113 and um, if I put that into my calculator that gives me 10.6 newtons to three significant figures um, okay, and, 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 and that's the magnitude of the resultant force right there. So part C is um, asking us, is telling us that the particle has a mass of 5 kilograms and we want to find the magnitude of the acceleration of that particle. So we know the force and we know the mass and we want to work out the accelerations. We can use um, Newton's second law. Um, force is equal to mass times acceleration um, and we know that this is going to be and I'm going to use the root 113 here so our force is going to be root 113 and um, that's equal to 5a so my acceleration is going to be root 113 over 5 and if you step that into your calculator that works out to be 2.13 meters per second per second right part D um, is asking us to find the angle between the resultant force and the unit vector I so I'm just going to um, move this over here to give us a little bit more room okay so yeah. Right, so um, I'm going to draw myself a quick diagram so I know that my force I've got uh, my resultant force is 7i plus 8j newton so I'm going to go 7 in that direction and 8 in that direction and this here is going to be my resultant force, so I can label that as 7 and that's 8. And what we want there is we want this angle here, which I'm going to call theta, because this is the I direction and this is the angle that this is making with the I direction. Okay, so. Um, because I've got my opposite side and my adjacent side I know that tan theta 
is going to be equal to 8 sevenths. Um, so I can work out what theta is using my calculator. It's going to be the inverse tan of 8 sevenths. Um, so my angle of theta is going to be 48.8 degrees. Okay, now I'm just going to look at that and, and, and that looks about right to me. If, if that was 7 and that was 7, that would be 45 degrees. So that's a little bit more, which means that angle should be a little bit more than 45 degrees, um, which it is. Okay, thanks very much.